This is a really cool tune. This is Jorma Kalkinen's tune, Man's Fate, uh, that appeared on the first Hot Tuna album in 1970, I believe. 69? 70. Um, recorded live at the New Orleans House in Berkeley and had just fabulous tunes on it. Hesitation Blues, Death Don't Have No Mercy, Wine and Boy Blues, How Long Blues. Oh, it was. this album had a huge impact on me, more than influence. And it, it, it kind of sent me off in a... Uh, <coughs> in a direction of, of wanting to do these really cool guitar things, in this case, mostly bluesy ones. Now, this tune um, it was written in, in honor of uh, Yorma's, uh, actually somebody who was kind of influential in Yorma's life. Um, Steve Mann was a uh, West Coast guitar player who um, ran into problems and, and uh, anyway, had a rough time after, uh, after being big on the scene in the early 60s in, in L.A. And, and San Francisco and kind of had again, his, he was a finger picking guitar player. Um, appeared on some Sonny and Cher albums, playing guitar on, on some of their early hits and things. And um, he, some of these licks were things that Yorma kind of got from Steve and, and really put together. And um, so, anyway, that's what we're going to do in this, in this uh, lesson is take a look on just the parts I played right there. Now, Yorma goes into long improvised parts. <laughs> We're not going to talk about the improv parts for now um, because most of my students who have worked on this really just need to get down the three or four little main parts that I heard there. We've got the opening, just such a cool set of notes. We've got a really just kind of rapid alternating bass thing that is just a, a B, it's really an E minor add nine with B in the bass chord. We've just got what looks like a B power chord moving up to a C power chord but keeping the top three strings open and just really fast picking in there. So I'm not even going to go too far into that. You just have to rip through it and, and kind of make sense. Uh, then we get into the third part that is very percussive. And when I've had students work on this, it's really important that you keep this hand moving like it's your metronome to get that percussion in there and the clicks in there. I'm even using a thumb pick here because my thumb's a little sore right now from, from playing this so much and a bunch of other tunes. Anyway, um, and then we have the god-awful lick. That's how it goes slowly. Anyway, uh, coming up, a lesson on man's fate.